today we are going to peek in one of the places in Japan I was looking forward to seeing the most. And that's Hokkaido, a huge six-story stationery and art supply store nestled in the busy city of Shinjuku. Stationary materials can be found in the first floor, design supplies and papers on the second floor, painting materials on the third floor, picture frames on the fourth, oil paint frames on the fifth, and an art gallery on the sixth. The first floor is the writer's haven. There's a huge selection of writing materials and let's not forget, having cute stationary items is pretty much a staple in Japan. They even display actual swatches of the materials. How cool! They even have a swatch. If you don't have the time to read a review of a particular product you like, then you'd likely find this convenient. It's always exciting to think that at any moment, you can be in the same room with an actual mangaka or Japanese comic artist. Feeling too overwhelmed? You can always go for sets. An actual artwork as a sample, it just blew my mind. One of the things Japan is known to produce is Ganzai paints. And here you are not limited to the Kuretake brand. There are a lot. And speaking of limited, this store not only sells art supplies, they also have art books for your inspiration. The last few things you should do with a masterpiece is to showcase it. And what better way than putting it in a nice frame? You can browse a wide selection of different artistic picture frames that can complement your artwork. There are even some nice art prints you can purchase and frame as well. That concludes our quick preview. Yet again, I will be ending the evening with a few drinks with some of my awesome pals. Thanks for staying tuned to my journey and I hope to show you more awesome adventures. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tour and for today, we are going to do a quick Q&A portion as suggested by one of my awesome subscribers, Bernadette. So Bernadette, thank you for such a fun suggestion and I'm really excited to do this. And the questions ko, I sourced it through um, a subgroup of Guhit Pinas and it's for watercolor and along with my post i attached a picture of my gansai watercolors but i did end up getting questions about those gansai watercolors and i promise i promise i will answer those questions on a separate review video but for today i will answer the most general questions about art that i received and the first question is from bernadette which is uh, the same person who suggested this this segment and her question is ilang artwork po ang nagagawa nyo sa isang araw and my answer to that is actually zero to one and that is because i'm really busy with work these days yung recent kong artwork nga inabot siya ng apat na araw din o apat na araw din Dahil pa siya sa national painting competition. I can't wait to show you guys that, by the way, in a separate video. Pero yun, huwag yun talaga nyo zero to one. As long as may time kayo or nag-aaral pa kayo, 
you are capable of producing more than zero to one artworks per day. And yung next question is by Ray Ann. Mas mura po ba ang mga art materials sa Japan? And the answer to that is yes, mas mura ang art materials sa Japan. Siguro by a few hundreds. So, makakatipid ka rin talaga. And yung next question is by Bernadette. And yung question niya is, Top 5 art store in Philippines where you most buy your art materials. The first one I can think of is Art Bar. By the way, may haul video ako doon. Baka gusto niyo i-check sa channel ko. And the second one is National Bookstore. Sa Art Bar, mas kompleto. Yung National Bookstore naman, mas accessible siya. So, mas madali talaga puntahan. At naman, at yung third would be fully booked. They also have materials, art materials there that you can't find in National Bookstore or even in Art Bar. The last two I can think of are online stores. That would be the Aver Arts. They also have a physical store, but it's way in the north. So, kung nasa north ka nakatira, it's more accessible for you. Masyadong marami yung range ng art materials niya. Talagang art store na art store siya. And kung hindi naman accessible sa'yo, meron din silang online store. Pwede mo nalang ipaship ng materials. Marami talaga. And lastly is Art Whale. Art Whale because they have awesome materials that you can't find in any of the other stores that I have mentioned. Like Peerless Watercolors. By the way, I also have a video on Peerless Watercolors in my channel if you want to check it out. It's really unique. And the next question is by Mimi. So Mimi asked, Art materials that you would recommend for beginners, what brand and how much? So depending on anong klaseng beginner ka, kung beginner ka sa drawing, I would recommend you graphite pencils by Colleen and Stedler. Also charcoal pencils by any brand. Tapos kung gusto mo mag-start na magkulay, you can opt for Faber Castell color pencils. Pero kung afford mo naman yung Prisma color, then go for Prisma color. You think it's an investment. Tapos kung watercolor naman yung ibig sabihin mo, um, you can start with Sakura Koi or Prang. Pero kung afford mo din naman yung mga tipong artist grade white knights na or a sonnet watercolors, then you can definitely go for those as well. Kasi investment din siya kung sure na sure ka na talaga na yun yung medium na para sa'yo. So, yun lang yun. I hope that helps you and I hope that satisfies your question. And the next one is by Catherine. Make a collage of all artist grade watercolor that can afford of many students like me. Include the price and where you bought that item. So, depende kung ano yung budget mo. Because artist grade, mas mahal talaga siya compared to student grade. Pero here is a collage of some of the artist grade that I can recommend based on the recommendations of people in our group as well. Pero kung in a budget ka talaga, related na rin to sa question ni May May, I would suggest you use Sakura Koi and Prang. It's very affordable for students, but it's student grade watercolors. Next one is by Geraldine. Ano pong store sa Japan nagbibenta ng art supplies? Naghanap kasi kami sa mall. Parang wala masyado. Napansin ko na wala nga masyado sa mall. Well, may dice so sa mall. Pero parang sobrang... Hindi naman talaga ganun ka-wide yung range. At least sa napuntahan kong dice so. Not sure kung yun din napuntahan mo. And since may dice so naman sa Philippines, I would recommend you to check out other stores sa Japan. Like Tokyo Hands, which is in... Shibuya. Sa uh, Tokyo Hands, I would say it's more of a novelty store. Full of novelty items na mga unique na pwede mo display. But at the same time, they also have sections for for some art materials, pens, and some crafting materials. Ultimately, the one I have in mind is Sekaido. Sekaido is a well-known art store in Japan na marami talagang artist na turista na dinadayo yung store na yun. Kasi ilang floor siya ng art store. 
at yun yung yun din yung sino ko din sa inyo sa video na to yung quick tour I suggest you definitely definitely check it out next time you are in Japan the next one is by Sofia she says personally I didn't like the brushes that came with it and full thoughts more on the brushes also if you can suggest some uses for them because they're useless rin Aww. Nalungkot yung brush dun ah. Pero, they're not entirely useless. I guess you can categorize them as brushes that is worth sacrificing to other mediums. Na, ibig sabihin na okay lang masira pa sa mga ganitong klaseng medium. So, what I'm holding is called a masking fluid. Yung masking fluid, um, ginagamit siya para hindi magbleed yung watercolor in certain parts of your drawing. Kung wala may ay mo malagyan ng watercolor yung ibang effects ng drawing mo, then you can use masking fluid. Pero the catch of using this is it can ruin your brush. Next time na may kasamang free brush yung watercolor kit nyo na ayon yun naman gamitin, I suggest pag nyo itapon, gamitin yun na lang sa ganitong klasing medium. And I also suggest that you check out videos by Hey Kala because she is really awesome at using masking fluid in her works. But I'm gonna make sure that I will also create a video for this masking fluid, where I got it, and how to use it. So you better stay tuned, and I hope that helps you, Sophia. I want to thank everyone for posting your questions. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And comment below if you have any other suggestions that you would like to see in my channel. And I will do it, I promise. Bye now!